today we're talking about color theory and eyewear. What's color got to do with it? Well, as far as glasses go, it has a lot to do with it. As an eyewear stylist, color is one of the key elements I pay attention to when styling clients. Now, is it the only thing to pay attention to and the only thing to consider? Absolutely not. But aesthetically speaking, it's pretty important. So, when we have any conversation on color, the first thing to pay attention to, well, you tend to begin at the beginning. And the beginning is the color wheel. So if you're just joining this series, please feel free to watch my video on the color wheel and another one I made on color temperature. So today we wanna move the conversation along and discuss skin undertone. So if you notice, there's a pattern here. We're building incrementally. Now, with skin undertone, it's important to differentiate skin undertone versus skin color. They're not one and the same. Skin color can change. You say, can skin color change? Yes, it can. It can change due to age, due to sun exposure, and due to sun damage. Think about it, you can tan, that's a change in skin color. But what does not change is skin undertone. We're gonna get into that. It is possible to have two people with identical or very similar skin colors that have different skin undertones. And this would render an overall different look. So when we get into skin undertones, let's get into what that means. How do you know which one yours is? By and large, there are three categories. There's the cool, warm, and neutral skin undertone. With the cool skin undertone, you'll find a pink, maybe reddish, even a bluish undertone to the skin. People with cool undertones tend to burn easily in the sun and find it difficult to tan. Now a warm undertone, you'll find that there's a yellowish, peachy undertone to the skin, even a golden color to the skin. People with warm undertones find that it's pretty easy to tan and they rarely burn. They find that after being exposed to the sun, they have a goldenish, sometimes reddish look to the skin. Sometimes people call that your natural glow. Now, if you have a neutral undertone, you neither fit comfortably into the cool or into the warm. You're kind of halfway. Maybe you have a little of both. You don't fit into any box very easily. Now, how do you know which one you are? Hmm. Well, there are three ways to know. There's the sun test, the vein test, and the jewelry test. So I've already mentioned the changes that can happen to your skin when exposed to sun. Now, if you have a warm skin undertone, when you look at your veins, you're going to see more of a greenish color. This would indicate that you have a warm skin undertone. Now, if you look at your veins and it's neither blue, nor, well, it has to be blue or green, There's, it's blood. Um, you'll find maybe it's bluish green. That would probably indicate that you're most likely a neutral color tone. Lastly, we have the jewelry test. With jewelry, which color are you most drawn to? Are you someone who loves silver? Like all your jewelry has to be silver. It's either silver or platinum or a white gold. Most likely, you're a cool undertone. If you're someone who loves yellow rose gold jewelry, you're most likely warm undertone. Now, why is undertone important when we're talking about glasses? Well, because your glasses rest on your face and against your skin. So it's important to know what you're working with so you choose a pair of glasses that complements what you already have going on. So when we're dealing with skin undertone, we wanna keep that in mind with color temperature. So generally, by and large, warm skin undertone goes well with warm color temperatures, which is something you consider when choosing glasses. So warm skin undertone, warm color, warm colored glasses. Take myself as an example. I'm someone with a warm undertone. I love a good mustard yellow, a good pumpkin orange, a good fire engine red. Those are my colors. 
However, it's important to keep in mind that these are guidelines. These are not hard and fast rules. These guidelines are, are designed to help you choose the colors that suit you best. They're not here to limit you. Again, as example, as someone with a warm undertone, yeah, I love reds, but I love a good, I love a good navy blue. I love a good turquoise green. If you look in my closet, you will find those too. And of course, black, because in the winter, that's all I wear. But <laughs> it's just to let you know that these guidelines help you. They're not here to hinder you. They're there to help you explore, guide you as you explore, not to limit you. So if you find that you're a warm undertone and you love greens and blues, that's fine. The beauty of it is that given our skin color, skin color comes in so many arrays of shades and gradients that it's possible to be at that end of the spectrum where you can wear a wider array of colors. And it's also possible to be at a spectrum where a, narrow, a narrower range of colors look great on you. That's the beauty of being human and having choice and just choosing what works best for you. So I hope this has helped you develop your, well, identify firstly, and then develop your color palette. You wanna know those colors or family of colors that look great on you. Because when you look great, you feel great. There's a confidence about you and it just ripples out into other areas of life. I believe glasses are part of your nonverbal com communication. I tell clients all the time, your presentation equals communication. How you show up in the world says a lot about you before you even speak. So this is all I have for you today. I thank you for joining me. If you learned anything, please, let me know in the comments. Is it something new to you? Is it a reminder or a refresher of something you've heard before? Do you already have a palette? Do you already know which colors work best for you? If so, let me know in the comments. So I look forward to seeing you the next time. Remember, glasses are part of your presentation and you want to elevate your frame game. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.